Sam, the Frugal Hugo Gardener, and I'm standing over here in front of my garden this morning. I have three blue java banana plants that are in pots that I went ahead a while ago and planted the corms and had them grow. They're now large enough. I prepared some beds last year over here, and I'm going to go ahead and plant them in the ground. So let's get on with it. Okay, so first thing I'm going to do is remove some of this stuff and slide the plant over, remove the chips, and go ahead and plant it in the compost. When I, when I did this bed over here, I dug six foot wide, three foot down, 18 inches above, added the compost. I marked the location that I wanted the banana plants. So just in case I'm not off um, from where I originally planned to put them, they're in row with all the other ones down there and this way. Plus they're in a certain section of the bed with a space in between and a distance away from the garden. All that was planned out. So let's get with it. Okay, so first thing I want to do is remove this nice top layer of chips over here. Because I'm going to brush that back on. Okay, so okay, so here's the center. I removed most of the chips. Now I'm going to go ahead and dig down. Okay, so that's probably good right there. Let's see, it comes up to there. I want it a little higher, it looks good. So now I gotta pull this out of the pot and put it in there. <clears throat> this is always tricky. Okay, so I have the blue java out of the pot. The root system looks good. I can see it around the outside. Now I just want to line it up with the others over here. So it's got to come to me just a little bit. Thank <laughs> you. 
Okay. That looks pretty good right there. Now the height of it is good and we're ready to go ahead and put some of this back in there. You can see some nice thick roots right over here, all the way around. Now I'm gonna pull the soil back over it. Okay, so pretty much I got the compost piled up. Now I'm going to take some of this chips and put the chips all the way around so when I water it, the pile doesn't go ahead and, and undermine and wash out. So I'm just going to work my way around and pull some of these chips back. Okay, so I mounded these up so when I water, that doesn't wash out. Plus, over here, I'm going to go get some new chips and put that around so this goes out even further. So this bed here is about a foot off of the ground the way I like it. And all of this is going to turn into good, rich compost over time. I'll keep adding more up so this bed will even get higher. So, okay. This is my first one planted. Let's go get the other one. Okay, so in front of the other one, let me do the same thing. Remove this, move the pot, remove the chips, dig a hole, fill it back in. Okay, so last year when I dug this hole six, six foot by six foot by three foot down, this manure compost was up over at 18 inches. So it compacted down as it composted. And the same thing for the chips. This, these chips here are good organic chips. They started out fresh and now they're practically dirt. So it's going to make for a, a really good bed. Manure down below, chips all the way down on the bottom for the hookah culture effect, and then chips on top. And I'll keep piling it up because on a banana plant, you can put as many chips as you want going up. So after a while, this will be up again 18 inches. So let me get digging. Okay, so let's try to go ahead and pull this out in one piece. Okay, this all looks good. And you can see the root system is all the way down to the bottom. So this is going to be a nice, healthy plant. 
you don't really have to break it up you can just plant it here's another pup coming out and this pup right here is a sword sucker see it's pointy so it's gonna be another nice blue java plant there's some ants down in there because I'm getting bit let me go wash those ants off of my boots there's red ants all around down there. They already bit me here on my hands and my knees. They're moving eggs around right now. Nothing I could do about it. That's why I wear boots. So let me finish. Okay, so now that the chips made like a moat, um, a dam, so when I water it, the water doesn't wash out, plus I'm going to add chips all the way around, I just wanted to brush up all the composted chips. Okay, so there's one down, there's two down, I got one more to go, and I still got to go get chips and put chips all the way around, but right away when I do something, I like to pile up the compost, pile up the composted chips that already is decayed, and then I put newer stuff all the way around it. But you can kind of see how I already built it up, I gave it a start up high and that's how much fill is going to come in i'll just keep adding composted chips and all that's going to be about a foot and a half of pure composted chips over time along with you know um, everything else that i put up there the uh, comfrey bakken 14 the mexican sunflower all that's going to go down in and fertilize the plant so let's go ahead and do the next one. Okay, so same thing over here. I'm going to remove this, move the plant, got the marker, pull the chips out and plant it. Now this blue java, there's two coming out. This is already a pup, so there's two of them. I want to separate one. Or maybe not I'll leave it as two because normally I like to have three of them growing anyway so instead of disturbing it since it's still a pup I'll just plant the whole thing it'll look nice they'll grow up nice I'll be happy Okay, so there's no need to measure or line it up because this is the center point where I want it. So let me go ahead and dig.
you notice that I always press down on this. I press down on the pot to loosen it up. So hopefully it pulls out easier. Okay, so this is the parent plant, and this is the pup. We're in the center. We're lined up this way. We're lined up this way. Let me wash my hands. Okay, so let's go ahead and pull that dirt back in. But that looks good right there. Okay, so now I use my hands and I try to clean up the whole area like this. Okay, that looks good. Now I'm going to pull in the chips all the way around before I water. Okay, so I got it planted. I want to wash the dirt off of it that I put on there. And go ahead and add water. Wash it down in. I'm still going to add water to these again, but I'm just doing this temporary. Then I'm going to get more chips, and then I'm going to put the hose down in there and get all the air out. Plus, it's a nice overcast morning. It rained this evening, early in the morning. It may rain again. That would be nice, some natural rain. Okay, so the first thing I like doing after I plant the banana plant is I get me some AgroThrive. I love AgroThrive. It's 100% organic. It treats the soil, creates micros, the micros go up into the root system, into the plant, makes for a nice healthy plant. Get yourself some agrothrive. So what I do is I just, I got myself a little cottage cheese um, container. You can use anything you want. Just like this, I put it in a five gallon bucket. And I fill up the five gallon bucket. This is probably about two cups of agrothrive in a five gallon bucket. So let me fill this up and I'm gonna pour some in here and on my other plants. I'll use this five gallon bucket on three plants.
when you pour this in and then put in the water, it agitates and it stirs it up. Instead of doing the water and then putting it in, I just feel it works better like that. Okay, so now what I do, is I just go ahead and do this. I pour it in like that. Now my banana plant is planted and it's fertilized. I got, a, that was about a third of the bucket. I got two more over there to go do. Okay, so anyways, my banana plant is planted. I went ahead and mixed up some fertilizer using AgroThrive in a five gallon bucket. I used about a third of the bucket in here. Now I'm gonna use the other two thirds in those other plants. This is a blue java plant, the type with the knuckles. It's the original. I treat it as organic blue java. I'm gonna have some available once they start shooting out pups. So if you want some blue java banana plants, contact me. Come to my Facebook page, PM me. Come to my Facebook group. PM me. There's a lot of ways you can get in touch with me. Comment down below. So if you liked my video, show me some love. Give me a like. We'll see you all soon. Okay, I got everything done. Got everything situated. It's starting to sprinkle out. So I'm all wet. My camera's all wet. Time for me to go in. But this is what my Blue Java banana plant bed looks like that we just planted. Right over here is the other one that we just planted. And right over here is the other one I just planted. I went ahead and gave them the rest of the Agro Thrive. And going down this ways, I've got some more Blue Java banana plants. Let's take a walk. So as you can see, <clears throat> right over here is another Blue Java. Right over here is another blue java. And right over here is another blue java. I put these on here just so I don't accidentally hit them with the tractor. But if you look, I've got all of these in a row going down. So anyway, once they get tall, once they start having pups, that's going to be, let's see, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and a plantain down the end. I think that's going to give it a nice look when I go down my walkway to the garden. Plus, on the other side, I got banana plants in a row, too, so it'll be like a street with big trees on both sides. I can't wait for them to mature this summer. So, okay, hey, this is it. That was my bonus footage. We'll talk to you later.